Hello Year 8, welcome to week 3 of working from home and today we're going to do some portraiture. You can decide whether you draw somebody else in your house or whether you draw yourself, um, but either way you need to be looking at a face, do not just make it up as you go along. We're going to start off with an egg-like shape which is thicker at the top, as eggs often are if you turn them upside down. Um, we're going to split that in half, we're going to draw a line um, halfway up for where the nose will sit, a line halfway up that top section for the eyebrows and a lower down line um, for the mouth. We've already looked in our, um, in our lessons about how to draw different facial features but here's a quick demonstration on how to add those and also showing you the proportions um, of where those facial features are going to go. I wouldn't worry too much about detail at this point, it's all about just getting the proportions and the basic shapes right. Remember that a mouth is as wide as the pupils. And it's at this point that you can start to make your outlines a little bit darker. Um, and just define your shapes a little bit better. Now this is where we're going to start adding tone once we've rubbed out our outlines. I find that doing a really light layer of pencil uh, with no gaps, that's important, and then smudging it with a cotton wool bud is the best way to get an even tone for the, uh, the texture of skin. Now, look at the cheek. Can you see how I've not shaded that in a straight line? Higher up towards the eye, it's curved downwards, and lower down towards the bottom of the cheek, it's curved upwards, so it's made that sort of spherical ball shape. I'm also going to smudge my tone in the direction of my shading as well, just to add um, some contour to the face. And then let's continue that over the rest of the face. I'm only doing half the face today just because I'm in a bit of a rush, but obviously make sure you draw the whole thing. Um, you need to think about where your darkest tones are next. Now that we've done that mid-tone, you need to think about where the darkest tones are. So if someone's got cheekbones that stick out quite far, um, you'll probably need to draw some dark tones onto the cheeks, um, usually um, underneath the mouth and uh, the corners of the eye where the eye meets the nose are the darkest parts of the face. You can also use a rubber to add highlights as well, so you've got three tones. You've got black, white and then the greys in between. Obviously the more greys that you add, the higher ability your work will be, so think about that. So this will take a while. I'd say that just doing this half of the face probably took me about 45 minutes, but I was also doing A3. So if you do a smaller version um, and work really hard at it, let's see how much you can get done in an hour. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do. So good luck and goodbye.